Hello my dear students here we are with another video and I will be talking about how to find out the missing site of a given volume or perimeter of a prism mainly we will be talking about rectangular and square prisms but before we go ahead and talk about that I need to remind you what you have learned before first of all Let's talk about five. So five times five, which is 25. It is also represented at five square. While five square, while power of two, because five stays the way it is, five. And how many fives are there? One, two, therefore it will be square. In other words, for 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 you can shorten them up as write down 5 how many 5's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 power of 4 so remember that also let me clarify that uh, 5 times 5 times 5 <coughs> excuse me you can only just do the first two multiplication, which is 5 power of 2, and then times 5. You can combine them together. If you see this, 5 power of 2 times 5, or let's change the color, 7 power of 3 times 7 you can shorten them up as five so there is just two two fives are there and now this is standing next to it it's gonna add another one we'll make it five power of three so you are just going to add one more seven one more seven in the multiplication here so you're gonna end up with seven power of not three one more four so remember that and lastly let me talk about this 5 times 5 times 5 which is 5 power of 3 which is use your calculator if you like 125 and my question is if you don't know the number 5 here let's consider that as an x x power of 3 equals 125 how do you figure out what the x is right now we all know x here is 5 but if we didn't know how do we calculate x is supposed to be 5 so let me remind you that you need to take not the square root you need to take the cube root of both sides cube root of both sides and this will cancel out so you will you will only have x here x will be equal to cube root of 125 not the square root which is different square root is just that if there is no number here it's just a square root but if there is a number here such as this or even different than that then you are calculating a different root number so how do you do that using your calculator i have a picture somewhere here using your calculator this is i know the kit picture is not that great but this is the calculator you are using in my class this is the square button let's change the color here this is the square button and right next to it you have the cube button now to calculate the square root what we used to do is the second function and the square button that will give you the square root and for the cube root you can do exactly the same press on the second function button and then write the uh, i'm sorry press on the uh, cube button here so that will give you cube root so cube root of any number so now using my online calculator 
let me show it to you and here you go you see this that's my cube root button so i press on that and i'm gonna write down the number which is 125 so i'm gonna press on equal sign here i know i'm gonna get five here see what i have here it means i'm about to calculate the cube root of 125 so equals you see it's gonna be five so let's uh, let's now go back to our real topic <coughs> excuse me all right over here this is a cubic and all sides are the same there are three dimensions here right so this is x this is also x that is also x they are all called x and we need to calculate what the x is and volume is given to us what is given to us volume is given to us go ahead and write down the volume formula first and volume formula all right that's not it volume formula is here so prism volume formula v equals capital b h let's go and copy that first v equals capital b h so what i know about this formula now volume is given to us so let's go ahead and write that down 343 equals capital b means the base area let's calculate that here base area equals on the base we have the square so square array formula you can go ahead and look at your formula handout but it is l square let's continue L means one of the sides. Let's look at the question. What is one of the sides? All of them are the same. And that is, there is no number here. That's just X. So I'm going to place X instead of L here. So let's, let's write down X. Don't forget the square. That's all you can do. You can't go further than that. Base area is X square. So let's go ahead and replace that information into the formula here as the b the base area so let's write that down x square times now i'm going to multiply that with the height what is the height that's also an x so i'm going to write down x here and remember what we just spoke about this is x square x square is supposed to be multiplied by another x one more x that means on the right i'm gonna have x cube and now if i want to find out what the x is from this equation i need to calculate the not square the cube root from both sides i need to calculate the cube root this will cancel that out now i will be able to tell you what the x is once i calculate the cube root of 343 let's go ahead and uh, cube root let's clear this first uh, cube root button is here for me and i'm gonna write down 343 equals that will give me seven which means x is 7 you don't believe me you think i am lying here x is 7 but don't forget the unit which is meter let's go ahead and write that down and now you know what the x is now you go you go ahead and calculate what the surface area is for this because right now you know the dimensions this is 7 that is 7 that is also 7 you can go ahead and calculate the uh, surface area now let's do another example in which this time not volume but the surface area is given to us hmm. what i'm gonna do here 
absolutely i'm gonna write down whatever is given to us i'm gonna write down the formula for the surface area because that's the one given to us so surface area formula is surface area equals two capital b plus height and perimeter of the base so that's the formula surface area is given to us which is 726 equals 2 times b i don't know let's calculate that so let's cal let's write down capital b here and what shape do i have here as a base i have all sides are the same i have square so it's supposed to be l square b equals what is the site l it is x don't forget to square that's it you can't go further than that so you need to stop there and get this information there b is b is from here it is x square plus height what is the height of the shape here which is x and what is the perimeter let's go ahead and calculate that on the site perimeter equals what is the perimeter formula for the base which is square 4 l let's keep going i'm sorry let's keep going 4 and what is l all sides are the same x and you can't go further that's all you can do here so 4x is the perimeter and now let's go here and multiply that with the perimeter which is 4x and let's just organize the right side 726 equals this is just going to be 2x squared and that is going to be there's just one number here let's write that down here so now i just wrote that down but now i have x times x that can be shortened as so there is just one more extra that can shorten be as x square and let's just keep going 726 equals <coughs> This is x square, x square, they are the same. So we can put them together. In other words, you can think of them as apples. Two apples plus four apples uh, is six apples. My job is to leave x alone so I know what the x is. How I can do that? 6 here is a multiplication so i'm gonna send it to the other side as a division 726 divided by 6 equals now x square is alone let's calculate that my calculator 726 divided by 6 what do we get 121 so let's go ahead and write that down 121 equals x square i want to know what the x is but remember this is not x cubed this is just x square so all you need to do here is get the square root from the both sides not the cube root square root in this case so now x is alone let's see what is the square root of 121 clean that now square root button here is this i'm gonna press on that and write down 121 so whatever number i get that would be the x which is 11. okay 11 let's not forget the unit what is the unit centimeter 
Voila. I am not done yet. I am not done yet. What I'm going to talk more about is this time. By the way, we just find out what the X is. So you need to calculate the bay, uh, surface area. You have, you know how to do it. Just go ahead and replace the numbers. And you know this is a cube. So all sides. This is 11. That is 11. That is also 11. So go ahead and calculate. So you know that. And now my next example is about rectangular prism. A rectangular prism. So volume is given to us. How do we calculate the side that's not given to us yet? So let's go ahead and make an example about that. So what is given to us? Volume. I'm going to write down the volume formula. And all the prisms volume formula are the same. Volume equals capital B H. So volume is given to us. Write down 130 equals B. By the way, look at the shape and let me take this here. So it is standing in front of you like that. I don't like it. So I'm going to change it like this so I can figure out the numbers better. And I'm going to keep it this way. So if I'm about to keep it this way, so that means I know this is the X. The longest side is the X over here. The in the base, this side is the five, and the height for the figure, the height for the figure is two meters. So remember, two, five, and x. This is the uh, the side they want us to find. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Base area. What shape do I have as a base? That's the rectangle. So I'm going to write down the rectangle. Let's calculate the base area here. I'm going to write down the rectangle area formula, which is small b h. And that is small b here is that, which is 5 times h is the side we don't know which is x you can't go further 5x that's how far you can go that's why whenever i see the b now i'm gonna write down 5x and for the height remember this is not the height for the base, it's the height for the uh, figure here, which is 2. So 130 equals. I'm going to combine the two numbers here together. 5 times 2, which is 10. And x is standing right there. Now I'm going to leave x alone, which means... It's a 10 multiplies there. It's going to divide on the other side. 130 divided by 10 equals X. And X equals what is 130 divided by 10? 13. And what is the unit we've been using? Meter. Done. Now you know what the missing side is, 13 meter. And the question also asks you to calculate the surface area of the figure here. But now you have all the dimensions. It's easier for you to calculate. All right. Let's practice.